It's sushi night. Sushi. Everything looks so good. Oh my goodness. Go, go, go. Wasabi. Wasabi. Wasabi, man. Take some of the wasabi. I've learned you gotta break it up, friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Because a whole pile in your mouth ain't cute. There we go. <clears throat> we got some ginger. The presentation is always so good here. I know. I agree. I'm sure you're pro sushi eater now. Ah, uh, you know me. <laughs> So good. Ew. Mm -hmm. Have you watched Lion yet? <laughs> oh no, Michelle's gonna choke. Take it slow, Mom. Huh? Try my um. My roll that I ordered, Mom. It's really good. Mm. 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 They haven't had sweet shrimp since now. <laughs> You'll think they'll ever bring it back? I'm gonna call him. Mm -hmm. You should. I'll be like, why would you do that to me, man? <laughs> This is um this is octopus my favorite. Michelle's eating ramen. Is it good today? Mm-hmm. You wanna try the soup? I'm okay, thank you, Mom. I appreciate the offer. We've been watching Lifetime. <laughs> We've been watching Lifetime movies. See, Michelle can um, put this whole thing in her mouth, but it's too salty for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm glad you find that found this place. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's decent. Yeah. It's not like the best sushi I've ever had, but it's decent. <clears throat> it's like good. Mm hmm. Mm. I want to go eat at the restaurant. We should one day. Yeah. Where if you walk in and they have sweet shrimp? Like cry, order like 16. <laughs> what if that's like, the case? Don't, yeah, what if it's just not online? Okay, we're going. <laughs> mm. Oh, ours is the same insides, just different outsides. Oh. Mine is shrimp and yours is salmon? Mm-hmm. Mm. Salmon and tuna. Mmm. I started liking sushi more as I got older. We love it. Just can't eat it for nine months. I'm not pregnant, but I can't eat it for nine months. That's so sad. Mom, clearly you're not pregnant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know I heard in Asia they do? You know, if you actually have really good, high-grade, like, sushi, like, fresh, mm -hmm. you're actually allowed to. Mm-hmm. Because in Japan, they're like, what do you mean? We eat sushi all the time. 
through their whole pregnancy. Wow, in Japan, women are moving to Japan. Mm -hmm. So in Japan, they eat sushi? Mm -hmm. Still expensive, high-grade sushi. Mm. And I'm sure, like, not as often. Oh, yeah. You know? Because I'm assuming that's not good for you. Right, right. Yeah, I love raw salmon. You always have. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rocky. <laughs> when did you start eating sushi again? When I was four. Oh my god. <laughs> I had like raw, raw fish for the first time when I was four. Mm. And then I kind of just ate it. <laughs> this is like too big for my mouth. I will say those are huge. The I shoved it in, but they're I huge. I can't do it. I gotta split it in half. Oh, but the way that good raw salmon melts in your mm. mouth, it's so bomb. It's so soft. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's here. This is my mama. <laughs> oh, that's so good. When did you first have sushi again? I'm pretty sure I had my first sushi in. Oh, my good food, my babe. Okay. With your family? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a buffet. Oh, that would, that makes sense. I don't remember though. Okay. I could be lying. Oh, okay. I had my first Chipotle bowl. I, I know you didn't ask, but mm. I had my first Chipotle burrito in 2012. At that Chipotle I took you to. That one? That's the only one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's still there, right? Oh, Chipotle sounds so good. I love Chipotle. Oh, you're talking about the one in New York. You didn't take me, Mom. No, we ate at ch that Chipotle by the hotel. No. We never went? Mm-mm. Oh, we never had Chipotle over there. Mm-hmm. But that Chipotle by the hotel we stayed at is my first, is the one and only Chipotle. The one and only. <laughs> Do you think they have more now? I'm sure York has um, improved mm. the restaurant, mm. you know, options around there. I hope that buffet is still there next time we go. I hope so too. Can someone let us know if you live in York, PA? Oh yeah, if you live in York, PA, can you please let us know if that York buffet, I think it's called the York buffet, it's in the same plaza as Ulta, Five Below, um, and Chipotle, right near the York County Prison. Lovely. Yeah. Is there still a buffet there? One bites this, but I don't think you can. Okay. Mm. I want to go back to York. Me too. How do we get there without an airplane? Mm. A train takes three days. Mm mm. I'd rather take the train than fucking drive, though. Driving? Yeah. Driving takes five days, I think. Mm -mm. Imagine I just left my family. You left your family. And we just did a cross-country road trip. Holy fuck. Mom, I'd be so exhausted. And I'm not even driving. <laughs> That's the thing. I wouldn't even let her drive. Okay, but here's the thing. If we ever did that, me and you would have a plan. Mm-hmm. Like, we gotta stop at our... Mm -hmm. Like, this is our last mm -hmm. trip. No, really. We gotta stop at our, like, Louisiana is our mm -hmm. home. Not really, but, you know? Yep. Like, I'm not doing it again. No. Maybe we can do it in a rental and then fly home. Honestly, Mom, let's just fly. Like, why the <laughs> I'll get over my anxiety. <laughs> let's just fly. Mmm. 
I feel bad for like you dealt with it, but like having to move cross country. Mm-hmm. So young, I didn't have to worry about a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you feel about flying now? Are you still nervous about it? I think I've calmed down. Mm-hmm. Only because everyone stopped. Mm-hmm. And it's interesting because it's like, you guys keep announcing these issues. No one has severely gotten injured. Mm. Not that I'm taking risks here. <laughs> you know, I'm like, don't get it wrong. And You're like, an airplane hasn't crashed and people haven't died yet. So I'm like, okay, I feel a little bit like if you told me like, oh, hey, but I got us tickets to go to Mexico. I'd be like, okay. I think it's who you go with. That makes you feel better. Absolutely, absolutely. She did it. Hmm. I would have, but I embraced it, so I was scared. Oh no. It's too big. I know. Uh, Honestly, I don't know how you're gonna get the whole thing in your mouth. I just wanna set the record straight. Michonne, I would never bite sushi in half. Oh, never. That like is illegal to us, mm -hmm. but this is just too big. But maybe that's everyone's case. Maybe what if their mm. reason is, but it's just too big. No. <laughs> I've seen people bite this in half. Not that my best friend's over here eating a sandwich. What? <laughs> Multiple bites, mom. I thought it was a half and a one eater. No, I've seen people bite like this in half. Mm, please don't show us. <laughs> this. Is this big for some people? Oh, though? no. This might be big for some people, though. Then work on your gag. Everyone, I was going to say, everyone <laughs> has a little different gag reflex, right? Not good enough. I don't know. <laughs> This might be big. Like, I think you're right. Everyone's mouth is different. Yeah. And gag. Okay, I apologize. It's not illegal. Whatever it is. It is. Whatever. Whatever you are comfortable with. <laughs> whatever you're comfortable with. I can't believe you're leaving today. I can't believe I'm leaving today. We're gonna miss you. Mm-hmm. You wanna stay one more night? Clem called. She said you can stay. She's sleeping. Say, you don't fucking get your ass <laughs> over here. I'm gonna faint. And uncle doesn't know what to do, so I'm gonna faint. Oh, does Maiden have school tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. actually, have a final tomorrow. Oh, I see. Yeah. Bring Clem. Hmm. Imagine I could Uber her. They would steal your dog, mom. I know! And then I'd call and be like, bring her fucking back, she can't have babies, you bitch! They would either steal your dog or be like, ah, I'm her right back. I can't do this. <laughs> I can't have her in the damn car. Everyone would return Casper back to me if you put him in a car. <laughs> if anyone tried to abduct your dog, they would make it to the end of the road. To the back. end of the road, you turn, drop him back off. And be like, yeah, psych. And then he would chase them. Oh, be like, be get so... off my fucking mom. <laughs> he'd be so mad. Wait, so is Maiden done after this week? I like, after school, I like don't remember school schedules anymore. What is going on? Are we in May? We're in May. So you know how Cal States, mm -hmm. they have like the last day of lectures. Mm -hmm. And then the following week is finals. Mm -hmm. So last this last week was his last lecture. Oh shit! And so he has his final on Monday. Oh my god! Are we back to summer babysitting? Yeah. yeah. Summer babysitting. Yeah, because he's not doing summer classes. I feel like this is the time. This is the summer. This is the summer. This is the summer. We're gonna be chilling. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. So what is his last final? The thing is, with his uh, major, he yeah. has a lot more projects than like actual final. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so a lot of it, like he only has one physical final mm -hmm. on Monday, but everything else are projects. So I think he mm. still needs to the end of the week. Mm. But then honestly, next week after that, he's done. Oh my God. He's done, done. Well, not done, done, but you know, for the semester. How freaking fun. Yeah. Next semester is chill. No class Friday. 
Oh my god, keep that in mind. Yeah. But he does have Monday through Thursday. That's good though. Monday and Wednesday is only one class though, so it's really easy. Well, that's not bad. Yeah. I couldn't do college again. <laughs> but you did it. Mm hmm. But I couldn't do it again. Like I'll do what I now. I did what I had to do, Mom. I know you did. I did not want to do that. I know. But you did it. I cannot believe you but did, I it. did you it. You were a very busy gal. I did it and it's over and we never, like right now if I had to study, oh my god. Like I can't believe, like sometimes if you think about it, isn't it crazy? Like Carlos was like your graduation. I know. Like, what? I know, Carlos was there at graduation. I think that's crazy. I wasn't even supposed to graduate that semester. What do you mean? I was supposed to walk in December. Oh. Your mom was moved back, right? That's why she was there? Or did she only come for that? I don't remember. See, I'm mm. like... She was only back for the couple months? Yes. She was only oh. back for a few months because when I moved out with Carlos, I called her and I was like so nervous. I was like, Mom? <laughs> Moving out well, with my boyfriend. Really, you were nervous? I was really nervous to tell her. Why? Well, because it's not like, well, one, it's not. I know it's not norm, like normal in our family. One, it's not normal in the Asian family. Like it's, you know, she didn't have any issues with him. That wasn't the issue. The issue was like, I was very nervous where it's like, we're not married. Mm. She is semi-traditional, even though she like, really like changes things up without <laughs> telling me. <laughs> So at the time I was just like really nervous, but then also like when you are the baby your entire life mm. and you like live under certain rules and requirements uh -huh. and then you like, you're, I like, I really learned how to be independent in my twenties. I really learned that it was okay for me to stay out past midnight. Well, mm -hmm. are you kidding? We oh would, my God, yeah. we would go yeah. out to the bars and I would be fucking shitting bricks because I thought I was in trouble because I was not going to be home that mm -hmm. night. You're right. You know, like there's that a big difference between like Maiden and I, like I'm very like, this is how it is. If you like it, you don't like it, whatever. Like things, I did not feel like I could make my own, make my own decisions until I moved out. Oh shit. So I remember I just thought her. that you would be. I, I mean, to know. be honest, I did it anyways. I no, said, whether I you like it or not, I'm moving. No, I know, I know. You kind of gave her no yeah. choice, but didn't she, wasn't she like totally mm -hmm. like, I think it's so funny because you cared so much about a lot of different things. They like didn't give shit. Your brother, like wondering where you are home late, like, mm -hmm. and he, you would text him and he wouldn't care. Be like, and, okay, like, cool. It was really time for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, hey. I think they really had no choice because I kind of was doing my own thing. Mm. Did but she I say anything? Did she give you advice? But or? I remember like calling her the day before I moved. My bedroom's crazy. packed. My bedroom like, is I'm packed. Gone, yeah. The movers are booked. My bedroom is packed. Oh my god. Belle's like sitting on the floor helping what, what me. What was your brother clothes. doing? Did he know that you oh, hadn't he, told her? He didn't care. Oh he didn't care. I had told him I I had told him the day that I got approved for the apartment with Carlos. I was like we're moving out. But that wasn't that far off. No, so we moved in on a Friday I think and we had gotten approved on a Monday. That Monday? Yeah, so it was really Bitch. good. I know. So no, 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 this is what happened. So we got approved on a Monday, I think, I think. Um, I do know we moved in June 1st, so whatever June 1st lands on, June okay. 1st, 2018. Okay. But um, we had gotten approved, I think, on a Monday. Mm -hmm. And originally, we were supposed to move in next Friday. Yes, I remember. So I would have all of this week and yes. all of next week to move. Yes. And then they said, hey, you could, um, we, they had a special, I don't know what was going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Oh, they did. Yes. I remember that. Something like that. They had a special going on during that time. So they said, hey, if you move mm -hmm. in this Friday, mm -hmm. which is in four, four days, there's, we'll, we'll like do something. It was like a discount mm -hmm. or something. Um, so I think Carlos was really nervous to tell his mom as well. Cause he obviously like contributed to the bills. Mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. he was like, shit, I told my mom, like we were going to move in the middle of the month and now like we're moving mm -hmm. in four days. Like that's really gonna, you know, um, but she was okay with it. She was, I think bummed out, not upset, just like bummed out. I think it's really cool. Sorry. Side note. Mm -hmm. I think it's so cool that like. 
your relationship with him has like made him come out of his comfort zone more than Aww. he has ever wanted to. Yeah, because really I'm sure shy. half the time he's pissed about it, but at the end of the day, it like benefits him in that way, you know. <laughs> Anyways, continue. Um, the. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyway, okay. yeah. So I got approved Monday. You're crazy. And I was like, okay. And in my head, I'm like, it's just a bedroom. Yeah. Like how you feel right now. Yeah. You're it like, is. you're like, it's just a bedroom. I have it's my so bed. So easy. I have my bed. I have my desk. Mm -hmm. I have clothes. That's it. Yeah. I started packing, and school was out. I had graduated. Oh, I had graduated in May. Oh, yeah. I moved. I moved out. I think like three weeks after I graduated college. Wait, so you guys had already planned and talked about it when you were graduating? So we planned on moving in, and at first it was like, let's move in together in like a year. Like, let's just like oh, so just talking about it. Yeah, huh? shit. Let's just figure it out. When you know Kim Tai, there's no <laughs> year. <laughs> well, and then you had told me that my sister was gonna come and. <laughs> Sir, you that, have, I think that's so funny that that's what pushed you. You told me that my yes. sister was gonna come and live with us yes. half the year, and I was like, It was your niece's birthday, and her sister was in yes. town, and she was in the bedroom, and she was like, Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be here. She's like, I'm gonna be bi coastal basically, like, and I was half like, a year. I and like, Brooke and I ran down the stairs and was like, Kim, 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 did you know? You need to move, you need to get out of here. <laughs> and I remember your face, mom, you were literally like, What? <laughs> She's moving? Yeah. With her husband. With her husband. Something like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's about to be a full house. And I was like, no, 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 we gotta get out of here. <laughs> so then around graduation, we we're like, hey, well, what about fall time? Like, now we're, mm -hmm. we went from a year to six months. Damn, not that. And then we went, from, we went from six months to next week. It was a whole thing. Um, Honestly, props to Carlos for even keeping up. I <laughs> Poor guy. I don't know how he survived. Yeah. It, it, he, he made it through. He it, loves and it, you. And it sucked because he had lived um, 25 minutes away. Yes. And yes. then our new, our new apartment was right next to his work. Mm -hmm. And then when he moved here, he was like, oh my God, this is amazing, babe. My work is now five minutes away. I don't have to get up super early. So then when we moved here, you guys, his work... <laughs> relocated to 20 minutes away where he used to live and if you live in OC you know that 405 south in the mm -hmm. morning is not fun so then he went back to leaving an hour early oh <laughs> my god poor guy so that's what happened but poor yeah that's guy. how I remember calling her um what did she say what did you say how you know my you start it? my mom has shocked me a lot growing up I think she really kind of just she really is. Let go. So she was just like, kind of like, okay, like if you think that's the best decision for you, then yeah, you should do it. Like, okay. And then I remember telling she hi, and she was like, cool. Tuan was like, cool, whatever. Honey, and Tuan wanted you out. No one cared. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> he was like, I got the house to myself. He's like, no, really? Okay. Yeah. So Belle helped me pack two nights. She is, I, I think she should have her like personal organizational business because she was. Mom, she was doing origami with the clothing. And then it was in the boxes. Everything was done the next day. I don't know how I would have done it without her. And granted, remember the state of my walk-in closet? Oh, yeah. It was like piled up. I don't up. know how you... I didn't have it clean. So I was like, oh, my God, do I throw all this away? Like, do I donate all of these? Like, so we sat there all night. We folded clothes. Then I blogged this, actually. The next day we went to Korean barbecue. And um, I called the movers, who I still yeah. hire to this day, and they came and moved everything. They were actually an hour and a half, two hours late. I was pissed, but whatever. That's really late. I know, but they were stuck in traffic, and I was desperate, so it's oh. fine. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, if you're wondering why I was not there, we were not that close. There we was a were, little bit of a falling out. We, we were... A TC, yeah, we were going through our 20s. We, we were definitely not talking a lot during that time. Guys, she she had, knew, but she knew I was moving. No, no, no. I because knew, I had called her. I knew. We were just not that close. We were very indifferent. Okay, you guys, if I'm being honest, everyone in my fucking life was dating, and it was fucking annoying. I cut everyone We were off. going through definitely a different transition in yeah, our lives. Yeah, it was just... We couldn't be in each other's lives at the time. It wouldn't have... But I remember calling you... Um, when I found the apartment. And don't get me wrong, I was shocked as a friend. I was very <laughs> shocked. 
I called Michelle when I found the apartment. I called Michelle when I got approved. Mm -hmm. And then Michelle saw the apartment, I think maybe like a few weeks later after I had moved in. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I... I got the keys a day early, and then Belle came, and we did the, the prayer thingies. Mm -hmm. And then all of my stuff was packed. Carlos, <laughs> my favorite memory that we have. So I show up to this apartment, you guys, with a legit moving team because I have my bed. <laughs> I have my desk. I have my makeup desk. I have maybe six boxes of clothes, shoes, purses. There's two bed, two bed, right? One bath? Yes, my first apartment. Oh, yeah, was, you never had a single bed. No, we always had a two bed room yes, because okay. one was always the the yes, office. I or whatever. remember. Um, so that was all my shit. Like six boxes, a bed, a desk, mm -hmm. a vanity. Okay. Oh, we're talking additional boxes for all of my makeup mm -hmm, and filming mm -hmm. equipment. You had a lot of stuff. Oh, you guys. So I so the day the movers came, everything was in the the apartment, and Carlos comes in. It's like oh he God. came back from work and it was his, it was our first night living together. Oh my God. And I was like, where's your stuff? I was like, did you not, did you not pack up your stuff at your mom's house? Did you not move out yet? And he was like, it's right here. That's it. He had two boxes of clothes and the boxes were like UPS boxes this big. That was it. That's all he had. His shit look like Amazon boxes, man. <laughs> That's all he had. <laughs> you know he's a very simple man. Such a simple man. <laughs> I was like, baby, you don't own more than like 10 shirts? Like, what's going on? That's all he had. <laughs> what does this man came now would take like 10 boxes to back up? <laughs> I was like, Carlos. But then wow. I was like, what a humble king. But then I <laughs> We love calling him. He's right now called Skinny King. Yes, he is. Um, but then I remembered he was living at mom's house, his mom's house, mm -hmm. and they live in a one bedroom, yeah. and there's three of them. Yeah. So his mom and his sister had the bedroom closet. Yes, I remember that. And Carlos got the hallway closet, which was a which was a linen closet. So he didn't have oh. options to have a lot of clothes and shoes. So he only had four Why pairs. Would you fucking ask him, you I know. Asshole. I'm a fucking asshole. I didn't realize. I You're like, wait, wait, wait. Let me do that. closet which oh only I think homeboy had four pairs of shoes and three jackets or something oh my but I just gosh. came in and I was like oh my god oh my god my man only has two boxes I was like baby you don't need the walk-in closet <laughs> but I love that apartment I think it was structured very weird mm. <laughs> yeah do you like the first one or the second one I love it? the second one the that's second why we moved one. yes so when our lease it was just like perfect timing our lease our lease ended, okay, so we had moved in in June, mm -hmm. and then a few months later in December, that December, yep. that uh, bigger apartment opened up, Yep. and I remember just, oh, you know what, I didn't stumble upon it. I made friends with the leasing office girls, Yeah. and they were like, hey, mm -hmm. do you want to come see? Mm -hmm. And I was like, yes, I want to come see. And what had happened was the woman that lived in that apartment, she had lived there for 20 years. Mm -hmm. So when she moved out, they were really excited. The company remodeled the whole thing mm -hmm. and they added central AC. Yes, you were the and, only one. And I was the only, they were like, Kim, if you and Carlos move in here, you would be the only one in this apartment complex that has central uh -huh. AC. And I said, yes. <laughs> She said, sign me up. <laughs> so I found that out in December, the, but the apartment wasn't going to be done until like, I think January or February. Oh, okay. We ended up making the move. It was a hundred dollars more than what we were paying. So I was like oh, very wow. nervous. Mm. I was very nervous at the time. About, I understand. You know? I understand. Um, yeah, it was a hundred dollars more, but for that apartment you saw it was nice. Like I like, I loved it. Two bed, two bath. Two bed, two bath, a nice size kitchen. Mm -hmm. There's an area for a dining table. There was uh, two two patios. There was. Yeah, You're there were. Right. There was Each two bedroom patios. had one, right? And then it was right by the leasing center, so Postmates mm -hmm. and DoorDash was so easy. Oh yes, that's very true. So there's that. So then we um, guest parking was a fucking bitch. Oh, I hated that about that's that apartment. That's the worst about apartments, but I understand. Yours is really good. Forget. I know. Yours is so good. I know. So um, we ended our lease in January, 
and we moved in, um, and then we lived there for the year, and then mm -hmm. at the end, we moved to the townhouse, yep. and then at the end of that year, yep. we moved here. Yep, yep. Yep. But I love that apartment, Mom. It From was the second open. apartment on, I know everything. Oh, yes. You started mm -hmm. coming over more on the second apartment. Mm -hmm. I love the second apartment. It was my favorite. The second apartment holds a lot of memories. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you've been watching the mukbangs, you know what the second apartment looks like. Because yeah. we did your birthday surprise. Yeah. Where we have the potato cake. It's all there. It's where I made your birthday cake that was melting. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of mukbangs. That was yeah. that was our second apartment, and then we moved to the townhouse. Yes. Oh, they've been there. If y'all been watching, you've been there. I like the townhouse. Carlos doesn't like it, but I think it holds a lot of different shitty memories. Yeah, just stress. Yeah, he was stressed the whole time. I really liked um, the townhouse that we lived in, though. It but was I'm, nice. But I'm glad we got out of there. Um. Uh, yeah. It was nice, but it was also nice because it was new. Yes, it was brand new. Yeah. It was a lot of space. It was a lot of space. It was definitely a lot of space. Coming from a tiny little two bed, two bath it apartment. Was, mm -hmm. We went from, um, I think it was 1,000 square foot, feet, foot, feet, feet. Mm -hmm. 1,000 square feet to a 1,500 square feet. That's a lot. Two stories, two story. three bedrooms, mm -hmm. and two bath, three bathrooms. You guys, we upgraded the next year. Um, and then I think rent, yeah, rent went to three thousand, which made me throw up a lot. I know. But the reason we made the move was because we had four dogs. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, and then they, and then from there, and then we bought this house. Yeah. That we love. Yeah. And we love the new pool. Yeah. 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 yeah I know. Yeah. I, wish I, I wish I could move this house closer. Very grateful you guys got a house, but we definitely still makes me very sad that you guys are far off. I know, but I did move for the dogs. I know. At the yeah. end of the day, it was. We all know the reasons. Now, do I remind myself that all the time? No, I don't. <laughs> it's more about me than it is about you, Riley. Don't you think? Um, but they, and but I, I am grateful you are not out of the state. You are not yeah, out of the freaking, you're not like Northern California. Mm -hmm. It would take me six hours to get to you. Mm -hmm. Very grateful you're only, you know, worst case scenario is like two hours to get to you. Carlos and I always said it had to be driving distance and I knew one hour was max. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And we love our friends. Oh my god, we they love, make it so yeah. much better. I will say right? it makes me so much comfortable that knowing, knowing that you guys that, are not alone. Yeah. In any case, and they're not just good people, you guys. Like, they're friends. They're not even neighbors anymore. These, yeah. these girls are literally the best. Oh, that piece had a lot of wasabi. Are you hurting? I'm okay. You what? know what I'm thinking? Hmm. I'm thinking water spinach. You want me is to? like no hitting me. Oh, you want me to make you some? No, 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 no. I'm full. Okay. You sure? Mm hmm. It tastes so good with rice. No, like it's gonna go through me soon. Oh, from yesterday? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yesterday was so good. Oh my gosh, I know. I'm thinking about it. That hot pot was divine. It was amazing. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Oh my gosh, the ramen noodles with the water spinach was everything. My noodles. I know, you love your noodles. I'm so die hard for ramen noodles. I know you are. Oh my goodness. Wow. All that. All that and four dogs. No. That's crazy. You know, it's been seven years. Since everything started? Mm hmm I know. I've known you for 10 now, I'm just saying. <laughs> you remind your husband, okay? You let him know. Always. Yeah. I like your little collection over there. But my rice? <laughs> yeah. I like that you can do that at home, though, because I hate when you go to buffets and they, like, look at you. There's just a like, lot of rice. It is a lot of rice. I will say, I don't think that it was that thick last yeah. time. Hmm. These rolls we got bomb. 
I'm glad you like it. Wait. Hmm. What? You like sushi that much. What happened? What do you mean? What happened? We took all the Asian markets away from you now. <laughs> Mom, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen you swallow a roll before. Anyways, you guys. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad you think so. Yeah. I agree. But you've never been a roll gal. Do you want more soy sauce? Oh no, this is all I need. Oh, okay. You see that? That's a lot right there. Okay. Mm. Well, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to well, excuse yeah. myself. Yeah. Thanks for having me. <laughs>